following is the video to install and test Anjuan video Foley model. Foley is a technique of creating and recording everyday sound effects like footsteps, door creaks or rustling clothes in sync with film or video action. The term comes from Jack Foley, a pioneer in the field. This is Fahad Mirza and I welcome you to the channel. Please like the video and subscribe and also consider becoming member of the channel as that helps a lot. So this new model Hanjuan Video Foley seems like a very fine addition as it is an end-to-end -end model developed by Tencent to generate high quality sound effects for videos. Directly syncing audio with visual content and the model is available on Hugging Face as you can see here. It is designed as a professional grade tool for creators in film, gaming, advertising and short form video production. The model takes in a video clip and optional text prompts and then it produces realistic contextually appropriate sound effects that align both temporally and semantically with the visuals. Think footsteps matching walking motion or a car engine driving during a chase scene. What sets it apart is its ability to handle complex dynamic scenes while maintaining audio-visual coherence, making it quite ideal for applications where realism and immersion are the key. So let's get it installed and I will be talking a bit more about its architecture. I am going to use this Ubuntu system and my GPU card is NVIDIA H100 but as per their model card you can use VRAM around 20 GB but we will check it out how much it consumes in real time when we get it installed. If you are looking to rent a GPU on very affordable price you can find the link to masked compute in video's description with a discount coupon code of 50% for range of GPUs so please do check them out as that also helps a lot. Next up, let's git clone the repo of Anjuan Video Foley that is done and now I am going to install all the requirements from the root of the repo. While it installs, let me also introduce you to the sponsors of the video who are iGent which is the world's first multi-agent workforce desktop application empowering you to build, manage and deploy a custom AI workforce that can turn your most complex workflows into automated tasks and I will drop the link in video's description too. And everything is installed. Next up let's download the model for that first let's log in to Hugging Face. You would also need your Hugging Face read token which you can grab from your profile by going to this huggingface.co so I already have my read token I'm just going to enter it and we are now logged in okay now is the time to download the model and I will be using this Hugging Face CLI to download the whole repo of the model from Hugging Face in the local checkpoints directory and the model is being downloaded now as you can see so let's wait for it there are a few components of the model which it downloads among other things and the model is now downloaded now let me show you the inference now for the inference part if you can see here i am using their infer script i am providing it the local path to the model and this is a configuration which directs as how to generate the uh, audio from that video this is where i am providing it this video which i will show you shortly so this is a video of two kangaroos like this again an ai generated one which i have been using there are two kangaroos which are fighting okay now and then there is a text prompt that two kangaroos fighting in boxing ring and then it should be generating an audio so let's run this we already have downloaded the model i will let it run it is starting it is going to load the model onto our gpu and while it loads let's also check the vram consumption so this is in real time so you would also see how much exactly it consumes it is loading all the components right now it is standing at close to 18 going up 
18 so it is under 20 gig so far it is denoising the st steps from latent space to pixel space which is basically understanding the video let's wait i will let it run there is a text prompt and that's done so just over 18 gig vram it consumes in full as you can see and this is the audio which is present on my local uh, system in the output directory let me now open it and play it in the browser for you just give me a sec so the original video was without audio so let's see what it does here not bad i would say let's do it again interesting okay let's try out one more example okay in the next example i am going to give it another ai generated video so there is a woman who is blowing a flying kiss and there is no audio He's also saying something. Okay, let's uh, run this. And I'm just going to run it like this where I am giving it that video spot. And then the text prompt a woman blowing a flying kiss then saying subscribe. Let's see if it is able to say that word or is it just effect? I think it is just effects. It can't say the words. But let's check it out. model is finished let's run it in my browser i will just play it <laughs> now yes so it couldn't uh, did it that um you know produce that blank is sound maybe too much uh, sort of censorship but other than that you see the words which were spoken yes they were not correct it <laughs> But you see, there, is, there is a tongue sound there and then the way her lips move she has produced the correct sound at the right time not in english in sort of chinese i'm not sure what she's saying but it has done something next up i'm going to give it this thunder video see there is a thunderstorm within this glass cube sort of an animation and this time what i have done i haven't given any text prompt so it says single prompt is required when using okay so when you use single video you have to give a single prompt i'll just say a thunder storm and let's run it again you can by the way also do batch videos multiple videos at one time just have to separate them out and it has finished let's play it out this was i think the best and nearly perfect there was also sound of rain and thunder you see there is also rain dropping in the first few frames This was really, really good. And finally, I'm going to do this uh, couple video who are working on some uh, autumn setting on the leaves, uh, all AI generated by the way. Okay, so before I play this, um, let me talk very, very quickly about the architecture of the model. Architecturally, this uses a multimodal transformer framework that fuses visual, textual, and audio data through a series of specialized encoders and decoders. It starts by encoding the input video using Siglip, which is a vision encoder, text via clap, which is a text encoder, and existing audio through a DAC V, a custom audio latent space model. These features are then processed through multiple transformer blocks, first multimodal ones that cross attend between modalities, followed by unimodal blocks focused solely on audio generation. A unique sync former visual encoder extracts temporal synchronization cues which are fed into a loss function. 
to enforce precise timing alignment. The final output passes through a V decoder to reconstruct around 48 kHz high fidelity audio that ensures professional grade quality across sound effects, music and vocals and we also saw that in the Thunder video especially and I am hoping it should also do something good with this uh, autumn video. So it has already completed. Let me go and move the resultant video with audio to the browser and play it for you. Did you notice the rustling of the leaves? And there is also a subtle bird noise in the background. It has understood it is a forest. This is really, really good. So look, definitely we can do a lot here. They also have a grid view demo if you want to uh, run that from the root of the repo. But I think uh, they have done wonderfully well. Please like the video and subscribe to the channel. And please join as a member as that helps a lot. Thank you for all the support.